Hi everyone, Bridget here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at some different paint. I'm going to mix them up today and then attempt a painting in another video. These here are paints made by Crayola. They're washable kids paint. I have eight of them here. I have uh, black, turquoise surf, orange, Granny Smith apple, Tickle Me Pink, Violet Purple, and Blue, oh yes, and the White here. I got these at the Dollar General Store for a dollar a piece. These are two fluid ounces each, and I, I had to stir it up. I already got this one going this blue going. I had to stir it up before I even attempted to put it in the cup. But let me show you. We will grab another color. I'm not going to do the black and white because I think I'm going to go with the Easter colors. So we're going to keep the black and white aside. Let's open up the violet purple color. Pretty. I like that. Really pretty color. So, we're going to grab a stick, a stir stick, and mix it in this before we do anything. Because it is thick. I mean, look. It's thick. We're going to use these three ounce bathroom cups. Which, I mean, they're perfect for when you just want to mix up a quick color that you're not going to use a lot of, that you... You know, I mean, look how thick that paint is. My stir stick's just standing right up. So, yeah. Okay. So, I'm just going to cover the bottom of this cup. I know you guys can't see in the cup. But, I'll tilt it for you right there. And then we're going to add some flow trough. The flood flow trough here. Let's see if I can get y'all in it. The flood flow trough. I have y'all set up a different way so you guys are not in the greatest position. We're going to do about three times the flow trough for now. Stir it. It's about right, right there. It did lighten the color, the purple, with the flow trough. See where it was before, this darker purple? And now, with it with, mixed in with flow trough, it's really light. I mean, it's not too much of a difference with the lid and the flow trough. But I wanted to test this out and see how they dry. Again, these were, at the Dollar General, two-ounce containers made by Crayola. Two-ounce containers here for a dollar. And I think they had a couple other ones, like a red with glitter in it, but I didn't want them. I don't even know why I got the black and white, but um, I will keep them for something. So that's the... Violet purple. Here is the blue I was mixing before I decided um, why am I not recording? So, yeah. I 
put about the same amount of paint in this cup as I did the purple. A little more maybe of the Floetrol. Not much, about the same. Just scrape the bottom, scrape the sides, and just stir until that Floetrol is in good. And that's about good for me. So there's the violet here, the blue here, and yeah, what the heck, let's do the tickle me pink here. Let's see how bright this pink is. Maybe. There you go. A little brighter than Pepto Bismol. I've seen these and seen these down to the dollar store. I was like, oh, I don't know, because they're washable paints. And I was like, well, you know, I see everyday art by Brittany Guttner trying different things, like from the Dollar Tree. So I thought, why not give it a try? So here I am, trying these out. So, again, we're just going to cover the bottom of the cup. See how thick that is when I just... Yeah. So... Add some Floetrol. Whoops. I was not paying attention. A little more than what the other two cups have. But. Oh well. Let's see what the difference is with this. It's not much difference in how much I actually put in. But. Let's see. So I'm on my last gallon of Floetrol out of that case I got, what, last month, month and a half, but I did mix all my Master Touch and went through like a gallon and a half when I did that, and then I mixed up a bunch of big bottles of black and white, so, because I go through black and white like crazy, especially for base coats, so I wanted to make sure I had that but I got like a gallon and a half left maybe whatever's left in this jug and a gallon so I'm gonna order some more so I don't run out get some more canvases get stocked up I really need to get a camera but better camera now this is a little runnier let's see here's the blue and the pink. Yeah. This pink is a little runnier. So, I mean, I'm not going to not use it. I'll still use it. So the pink is done. Let's mix up these other three colors real quick. Ah, I got stuff to do. We're going to go with the turquoise surf color. Let's move these ones out of the way so I don't knock them over. Uh. Oh, it's looking pretty. I know that. Camera's not showing you guys how pretty this is. Let's see. Let's swatch it. Like we do makeup. Swatch. Wow, my camera's showing it that it's really bright. But it's a really teal turquoise color, guys. 
So, put that stick in there. Open up the orange. I'm just going to open these up all real quick. This is how I usually do it. Not one at a time. I usually mix, like, pour all the paint into my cup and then I do the flow trial and then I stir and I go with each color, figure out, all right, is this color ready? Is it good enough? And now I'm doing the whole Granny Smith apple green color. Woo! Look how bright that is. I like this green color. Oh, shoot! Titanials. See, let's see this color here. See, swatch it. A very bright lime green, sour apple color. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna mix the orange up. The orange is really thick. Um, see, I'm mixing these because the top of them. Like in the top has some water, like sitting from sitting around. So I wanted to stir it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my paint, orange paint, into the cup. Close it up. Do the same with the green. I might be using a half ounce of these colors right now. Maybe. Not even. So now I'm going to stir up this turquoise surf pretty color. See, my camera is making it look like it's really dark, and it's not that dark. It's so weird. Oh, too much. Okay. So now, I want to add, whoops. See, we're pouring. I missed my cup with Floetrol. <sighs> and I put a little too much Floetrol in that one, but and the blue, but I did have a little more blue in there than the other colors, so it's okay. It should be okay. We're gonna see. Okay. So let's mix this turquoise. All done. Let's do the orange. Again, make sure you scrape the sides and the bottom of your container you're scrape, um, mixing in. I am going to try a different recipe. I'm not sure when, but when I do, I'll let you know and let you know what I think about it. A lot of people kind of use it. So we're going to this granny apple, green, limey, pretty color. Scrape the stick, scrape the edges. Okay, so 
So, minus the whole Floetrol incident we had there, we didn't do too bad. Again, these were Crayola washable kid paints. I found at the Dollar General store for a dollar a piece, guys. They're two ounce containers. Um, so I'm going to experiment doing probably an Easter theme or something, something pastel y. So I did not do the black and white. I'm just taking the sticks out. So I can cover these real quick while I prep to do the painting. So thank you for watching this whole mixing video. If you guys enjoyed this, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave comments down below. Share my channel. Come on, let's help get the channel growing. I help everybody. So, yeah. Anyway. Let's overview of all six of these gorgeous colors. Here's that purple violet. This is the turquoise surf. The blue, orange, tickle. What was that? pink color called tickle me pink and the green is granny smith apple look at those pretty colors you know i just realized i don't have a yellow i don't think i've seen a yellow down there i'm gonna have to look thanks for watching everybody if you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe button down below and the bell next to it to be notified when i upload a video and we'll see you all next time thanks bye